Hello, my name is John Rabel. I'm an instructional designer here at Valencia. This video will feature how to customize your course menu and course entry page in Blackboard Learn. Now let's get started. First, we need to go to learn.valenciacc.edu and log in. The username will be your Atlas username and your password will be your Atlas password. Then we're going to click log in. And then uh, I'm going to show you today uh, two different views, one from a brand new course and then also one migrated from WebCT. So I'm going to show you first the brand new course. Now the course menu is here on the left, here on the left hand side. Uh, to move items on the course menu, you want to go over here to the up and down arrows and drag up and down. Now at the end of each item, you have a little gray action link box. Uh, click on that and you'll see a couple more options. You can rename the link, hide the link. Let me hide the link real quick. That will show you, um, well that will hide the link from the students and then uh, it'll also give you a little icon next to the, the course menu item saying that this link is hidden from students. So let's unhide that by just click show link. And there's also the delete option. Now let's go into uh, some more options down here at the bottom. We want to go to the control panel, go to customization, and style. Now you can change a, a couple different things here on the style menu. Uh, first we can change the, the menu style. Uh, right now the menu style is in text. So you can change it from text to buttons. You can also change the, the text color and background color. This is what it looks like when you turn them into buttons. And then also you can change the button type down here in the button library. The second is the course menu display. Uh, right now it's in the list view. Um, you can change it to a folder view or and you can have it have students choose to to have the the different views themselves so they can change they can change it from uh, lists to folders uh, default content view uh, icon in text uh, blackboard has provided us with a default set of icons to correspond with with text the links to different content items um, I would recommend keeping the icon and text on or going to text only. Um, the course entry point, as you saw when I first logged into the course, it took me to the dashboard. Uh, you can go to any item on the course menu uh, as the default entry point. The entry point is when students log into your course, what page are they going to see first? And you can also select a banner if you wish to be displayed at the top of your course. Okay, now that's a brand new course. I'm going to take you into a course that's been migrated from WebCT because that one's going to require a little bit more cleanup than a brand new course. So as you can see, it brought us to the course content homepage as the, as the entry page. And on over here on the left, um, it has the the items from the new course and in addition it brought over all the items from the migrated course from WebCT. So you have some duplication so this is when the delete function is going to come in very handy uh, and you can see some of them are hidden from students. So let's go down here to the customization style and we'll go down here and change the course entry point. Uh, in WebCT, you didn't have an option to set your course entry point. It automatically defa def defaulted to the course content areas, but this is a new feature in Blackboard to be able to do this. So let's say we want to change it back to the dashboard, hit submit, 
and it's been updated. Well, that's it for this video tutorial. If you have any further questions, make sure to visit one of the learning technology centers at the East Osceola or West Campus, or you can also email webcthelp at valenciacc.edu.